Hello guys, it's good to see you. I am back live. Uh, we are talking about the symptoms of Omicron variants BA.4 and BA.5. Um, I thought it was really important to come back and talk to you a little bit about the symptoms of these two variants. They are in the news. Uh, we are seeing them sort of spread like wildfire. And uh, I'm gonna give you the symptoms. Um, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, by the way, welcome. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on all sorts of stuff. You guys know that, so it, it's great to see you. Um, all right, so uh, let's talk, first of all, um, uh, uh, just a couple things that I want to remind you about BA.4 and BA.5. These are variants of the Omicron strain. Um, we had earlier variants, BA.1, BA.2, it's our BA.4 and BA.5 have sort of um, increased in prevalence. Uh, in, in other words, they are the predominant strains comprising most of the cases that are coming positive in the United States. We also know that BA.4 and BA.5 are um, prevalent throughout the country, excuse me, around the, throughout the world. So I know I have a lot of uh, followers are in uh, Australia, you're in South America, you're in Africa, you're in the, uh, London, etc. You have written me telling me about um, you know many of uh, uh, the cases that you're seeing around the world as well. So let's first uh, remind you the reason why this is important, guys, is because BA.4 and BA.5 um, uh, basically they are different than previous strains. Um, and uh, for those of you who are watching on Facebook. I have just launched a poll uh, about to see how many of you have COVID right now. I'd love for you to respond to that poll. Um, just curious because BA.4 and BA.5 are literally like running like ramp rampage. People are getting sick left and right. And I have a feeling that a lot of you guys might respond favorably to the poll in terms of um, you might have COVID right now. Uh, some of you don't have COVID right now. We'll see what that shows. One of the reasons why we're seeing BA.4 and BA.5 run rampant right now is number one, um, it's a, they're highly infectious, highly transmissible strains. They can be passed from one to another very quickly, very easily, perhaps more easily than other strains. So they're high, more highly transmissible. The other thing that we are seeing with these is that uh, these particular strains um, in general, they're able to evade immunity which means that even if you got vaccinated and boosted, or even if you had COVID prior, any immunity that you might've developed from the vaccines or from getting COVID, um, these strains seem to be easily, um, they're easy to get around that immunity. Meaning even though you got COVID and had some immunity likely, or even though you got the vaccines and boosted, these strains are able to come around it, okay? I see you guys responding in the poll. It looks like most of you do not have COVID right now, which of course is exactly what we want, um, but we do have about 10% of you with COVID right now, which is of course more than what we want. Um, so let's talk about the symptoms. One of the reasons why I decided to do this video, guys, is because um, I saw on Twitter uh, a few days ago where some doctors were documenting the symptoms that they had seen in their patients recently. And one doctor noted that many of her patients she has seen with COVID right now um, almost have viral meningitis symptoms. And she was saying, uh, she sort of postulated that perhaps this BA4, BA5 may have more meningitis symptoms than maybe prior strains. You might be saying, what are meningitis symptoms? Um, high fever, stiff neck, neck pain, headache. Now remember, you can have those symptoms with COVID and it's not meningitis, but that sort of constellation of symptoms can be associated with meningitis, and that's what she was saying. That's what piqued my interest, and, and it piqued my mind to say, okay, what are the symptoms that are being reported? So while that's one doctor, and actually a few doctors have said something very similar to, to that doctor, um, that's just sort of one perspective. Let me sort of tell you what the short and the long of it is right now in terms of, um, uh, in terms of, the symptoms of BA4, BA.4, and BA.5. Um, all right, so we're seeing a lot of symptoms that we've seen in prior um, cases of COVID or prior strains, um, a lot of upper respiratory symptoms. In fact, some physicians and scientists are saying that it seems like the symptoms with BA.4 and BA.5 are uh, affecting the upper respiratory tract, say more than the lower respiratory tract. What that means is when we think of the upper respiratory tract, we're thinking about like this part, you know, the throat, the mouth, the nose, this kind of area. So the stuffy nose, the congestion, stuff like that, as opposed to the lower respiratory tract where we think of um, the lungs, right? So pneumonia. So some physicians and scientists are suggesting that 
the symptoms of BA.4 and BA.5 are more like a bronchitis or, or sort of the upper respiratory tract versus the lower tract, which is like a pneumonia. Again, this is all anecdotal right now. What that means is that I'm just telling you what a lot of physicians, uh, a lot of scientists that I'm reading, uh, being quoted in articles that I'm seeing on Twitter commentary, people are writing about their experiences with their patients and this is what they're saying, okay? So that's what, sort of one of the first categories that I'm seeing besides the sort of um, uh, relationship to, a question, a questionable relationship to like similar to viral meningitis symptoms. Um, what I want to do now is I want to, um, let's see here, I want to ask you guys another question. By the way, the end of the results for that poll that we just did, do you have COVID right now? The good thing is that 94% of you who responded said you don't have COVID. Um, about 6% of you do have COVID. That's still more than we'd like to have COVID. Um, another poll um, that I want to see what you guys say. Have you noticed, and this is going to pop up on your screen for those who are watching on Facebook, have you noticed that more people around you are coming down with COVID? Please respond to that poll. I'd love to uh, kind of see what you guys are saying uh, about that. That's just um, that's just popped up. So symptoms. Uh, so let's go back. So symptoms uh, for BA.4 and BA.5 are things like um, upper respiratory symptoms that many people are saying. Things like cough, uh, runny nose, um, sore throat, um, fatigue, uh, headaches. Um, you know, congestion, nasal congestion. Uh, muscle pain, and actually there are some reports of loss, uh, loss of taste and smell. Now the thing about the loss of taste and smell, we've seen that that has been higher with some uh, sort of strains of COVID and lower with other strains. So we'll have to see what this, you know, how this all shakes out, but that's what people are saying um, right now. I have seen some reports saying that people are less likely to have loss of taste or smell with this variant, these variants. Some people have said that they've seen loss of taste or smell with it, you know, again, these are anecdotal reports. We have to sort of see what comes out in the wash. There are some physicians that have reported uh, painful sinus congestion and severe sore throat in their patients. Um, let's see here. Uh, some physicians say they don't think it's causing, well, actually I shouldn't say physicians, but the data that we have right now suggests that we don't think that it's causing more severe disease, meaning sending more people to the hospital, et cetera. But as I always say with COVID, I learned to do this very early on when I started doing COVID videos at the beginning of the pandemic, is I never say never and I never say always because things can change in a dime. So right now, it doesn't seem like it's causing more severe illness, but the truth of the matter is we have to uh, wait and see. Uh, once again, I wanna remind you that you know these doctors that I saw on Twitter, they were saying that there's symptoms they had seen in people almost represented or sounded like viral meningitis, which uh, tends to be high fever, stiff neck, uh, neck pain, headache. Um, but again, you can have those symptoms in like a really bad flu too, right? Um, so there's a little bit of stuff across the board. Um, what I would say overall though, is that we're seeing these sort of upper respiratory um, uh, symptoms. And many people are saying that overall, these symptoms may not be that different from prior Omicron. One physician that uh, I read their report said that uh, they're seeing people hospitalized. Um, those people who are unvaccinated are getting uh, sicker. That's one physician's account. Um, you know, guys, this is the thing. And by the way, taking a look at this poll again, this is for those of you who are watching on, on Facebook. Um, most of you, 61% of you are seeing um, and noticing that more people around you are getting COVID lately. So that is something that we are, are seeing more of. This is why I'm doing this video. Uh, it's why we're talking about it because COVID is, um, is, is coming up. So, you know, what's sort of the take home message from this? You know, once again, I wanna remind you that BA.4 and BA.5 are more highly transmissible uh, than other strains that we've seen. I also wanna remind you that it seems to be able to evade immunity that you might have gotten from doing the right thing by getting the vaccines and being boosted or having gotten COVID, which by the way, that's not a good thing because what that means is despite the fact that you've been vaxxed and boosted or have had COVID or both, you could potentially still get BA.4 and BA.5 which is why we're talking about this. So um, I am back to masking um, consistently when I'm out in public. I went to the grocery store today, I am masking. I am now kind of uh, curtailing my uh, social events and social activities and things like that. Um, I want you guys to make sure that you, um, that you consider doing the same thing. There are a lot of people who are getting COVID right now and cases are up in many different states. Um, please, by the way, um, uh, if you have not, I'd love to, to see, how many of you have a, uh, um, how many of you, what, what was I gonna ask? 
Oh, uh, let me know your experience with COVID in the comments. Tell me what's going. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what what you're what you're what you're thinking. What's going on? And a lot of you guys are asking actually about. Um, some of you were saying you didn't get the second poll. Let me see if I can. Um, let me see if I can repost that again. It actually says it's active. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see if I can hold on. Give me one second. I'll see if I can re relaunch it. Um, relaunch. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't want to do that one. That's the one if you have COVID right now. That's not the one I want to do. Let's end that one. So this is the one people around you. Have you noticed people around you having um, more COVID? Give me one second. On Facebook. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I apologize about this because you don't have access to this feature, but I'd still like you to write in the comments like what you're noticing and what you're seeing. Okay, so I just relaunched the second poll, okay? Um, just kind of take a look for it and see what you can see. Um, so this is the thing, guys. You know, uh, it's it's a big deal. I'm gonna keep talking about this. I think what I'm gonna do in the next couple of days is do a video on why we continue to have variants. This is something I've talked about before, but I think it's something that we need to talk about again uh, because we are at risk for uh, COVID variants to continue. And I'll explain probably in the next couple of days, I'll do another video, another live, et cetera, on why that is happening. One of the best things to do, even though I just told you that these strains can evade immunity from the vaccines, meaning that the vaccines may not keep you fully protected from this particular strain, it doesn't mean you shouldn't get vaccinated. You should. And I know you're probably wondering, why should I get vaccinated if you're telling me I could still get BA.4 or BA.5 anyway? The reason why is because these vaccines still, um, by and large, protect us from being hospitalized or from dying from COVID. And that is very, very important. Um, I see you guys have a lot of questions. I'm probably going to come back tomorrow and maybe we'll just do a, a live uh, just answering your questions. But I wanted to kind of leave this here. I'm going to go live on TikTok now um, just to kind of give, get the message out over there. I'm at Dr. Jen Cottle. Um, make sure that you're following me on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube as well. Sometimes there's different content at different places. Um, I'm at Dr. Jen Cottle, but thank you guys so much. By the way, those of you on Facebook, I see you. Thank you so much for sending stars. I'm going to respond to you guys personally. I appreciate you also writing your personal experiences about what your symptoms have been. That's helpful, right? Because that's just more information for all of us. So please write your experiences, write down what's been going on. Um, I see a lot of you are writing that you've never had COVID and God bless you. That is amazing. We're going to, we're going to hope that it, it continues that way. Um, for those of you who are on YouTube, if you please like and uh, uh, that's Facebook. For those of you on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. And for those of you on Facebook, please um, like and follow my page and thank you for the stars and also consider joining my uh, subscription groups for exclusive content. Guys, I'll be back soon with more information. We're, we're going to stay on top of this. We'll, we'll get through this together, as I always say. All right, guys. Love y'all.